Hey guys, before we get into today's awesome GTR update, I wanna let you guys know that the brand new and the last Legends drop of the year is live right now. As you guys are watching this video, you can scroll to the first link down in the description box below. It'll take you guys straight to the Legends site to pick up the all new Ronin drop. But before we get started, I thought I'd show you guys everything that's coming with the brand new drop because it is freaking awesome and it's the last one of the year. I wanna make this one the best one. We saved the best for last, I think. So let's get started. First off, obviously, we came out with two new t-shirts. We have one in the sand color, which I'm currently wearing right now check out this artwork it is freaking nuts and like I said literally save the best one for last so we have this sand color we also have a black t-shirt and then of course it's winter time it's getting cold we went ahead and did a black hoodie as well so here's the front with the insane artwork on the back here it is super dope so this black hoodie also kind of looks like the black shirt too just so you guys can get an idea but here's the black hoodie we also an all new hat. My new favorite Legends hat. This thing is awesome. Then also we did a ton of accessories for you guys. One of my favorite products that we do for Legends are these insane blankets. Look at this thing. This is dope. Anybody who's actually bought one of these from Legends knows that these are the softest blankets ever made. They are incredible. So we have an all new blanket dropping. Oh, I forgot about this. Before we get into more accessories, we did a black camo windbreaker here. Super awesome, perfect for like I keep saying, the, the cold and it's getting wet now. This is gonna be perfect. So the all new black camo windbreaker, perfect accessory for your garage or your office or room. We have a Ronin flag here. I just can't get over this artwork, it's insane. And then to finish it off, every time we do a drop, we have awesome accessories, air fresheners, we have two new stickers, and we even have two new jet tags in sand and in red for you guys. That is everything dropping on the legend site right now. Before you guys get into today's video, do me a huge favor, pause it, head to the first link down below, go check out the legend site. We not only have all of this stuff, but we have a ton of other stuff on the site, perfect for Christmas presents, presents for yourself, whatever, we have it on the site. So yeah, thank you guys, let's hop into today's video. Okay, read some books, be a good boy. baby all right Tim today <laughs> it's gonna get wild we're gonna see bare metal in this whole interior well hopefully the whole interior today yeah I'm so scared right now all right guys we're back in the garage well we're here at RS future working on the r32 today and we're getting this thing ready for wiring so in order to get this thing ready we have to completely strip the interior of this car which granted I guess we were gonna do that anyways right like, I was gonna make you do it it's a race car yeah like I told you guys we are going full send on the r32 and that includes the interior this thing is going to be bare metal in the interior we gotta get this thing ready for a cage as well so in order for them to do the chassis harness this thing has to be stripped and as well as to get the cage welded in this thing has to be stripped as well so literally everything is coming out of this car we are officially 100 going full send this is it should have brought ziploc bags oh dude yeah all the screws this is the definitive moment guys this car is I guess like this is really becoming a full-time time attack car. So yeah, we're gonna strip the interior and this thing will be good to go. Um, I guess we're gonna go and get started. What we're really gonna focus on today is obviously like all like the trim pieces, the door cards. We gotta get the rear seats out, which by the way, I really wanna get the garage, uh, the garage active carbon fiber rear seat delete. That is a must. So let's see if uh, we can get that from garage active. That would be super dope. So Tim's working on that door card. I'm gonna work on this one and we're gonna full send today, guys. This is breaking my heart, but it's getting me excited. So 
We are gonna be saving all of this stuff. Uh, I'm not gonna be selling any of the interior pieces. One day, I would definitely like to have another R32 that just sits in the collection. Uh, that is not a full-time track car, but for this one, we're going full send on it. So yeah, we're gonna keep all of our stuff nice and clean. Spare parts. Yeah, keep it all together just in case we ever need it uh, down the road, but door cards are out. Let's start moving on to the trim and maybe the headliner. Also, excuse the voice, my voice is still gone from yesterday after streaming all day, so that's what's going on here. <music> Rear seat's almost done. Tim is so pumped for this. I love it. <laughs> Tim's so excited. Tim's like excited. I'm freaking freaking out because this is like my baby and we're just tearing the interior out. But I know once the car is done, once it's wired up, once it's good to go, it's going to be so sick in here. And it's like, Whoa, doo, 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 doo. <laughs> we're going to have the seat. We're going to have the cage in the back. We're going to have really nice door cards. Literally go without a seat here. I'm really good. Yeah. <laughs> I really like my OG Nardi steering wheel that came with the R32. So I'm going to bring this to SOS and have them reupholster it in suede. Dude, we're going to keep the dash in here. The dash is gonna stay, or yeah, the dash is gonna stay. We have Tim's custom CD7 display right behind there, which is gonna be really sick. We're gonna keep all of this in here. We're gonna take out all of the carpeting, have a cage in the back, have one seat, possibly two, depending on what the class rules are. And then we're gonna have door I cards. You, I think you need two, but it'll just be a carbon fiber sliver. <laughs> and then we'll have door cards in here as well. So it won't be like completely gutted by the end, but I mean, we're not gonna have headliner and a lot of stuff is going to be bare, but it's gonna we're be about so to pull sick. the headliner. Yeah, we are. Are we gonna are we gonna do the dash today or no? I don't think it's a necessity to do it today. We might want to ask the wire guy if he needs us to pull it. Okay. If he absolutely needs us to, then yes, we're gonna pull it. Okay. So I just don't know how. It's yeah. one of those things you look for screws and <laughs> pull and look and pull and until it's all apart. A whole lot of not fun. Something that you don't really want to deal with. But if we have to do it, we have to do it. So I think next up, pretty much everything in the rear. Sorry about the wiring, jeez. I think pretty much everything in the rear is taken out now. We're good to go back here and our door cards. You need to take this guy out. Oh, the carpet up there, yeah. But I think you pop it out from the trunk. Okay, so we have still to do that. And uh, I think what's left for us right now is gonna be the headliner and we should be pretty good, right? Yeah. All right, let's send it. If it wasn't real before, now it's really real. I can't wait to hear this thing, dude. <laughs> You're gonna hear everything. You're gonna hear literally everything. Guys, the GoPro footage when we're on track is going to be insane. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be so loud. <laughs> okay, there we go. Holy crap. Okay, moving forward, Tim Bro. We got the, uh, the headliner out. Now we're literally in a tin can. Headliner and rear end is out. Now we're gonna work on removing the center console here and pulling the carpet. So once we get to once we get the carpet out and the center console out, we'll be good to go for today. And we pretty much got it. Oh, there she oh, is! Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Nice, final piece of the plastic puzzle today. Yep. Now, uh, just the carpet here. This is the fun part. Yeah, hopefully we can grab it without, like, ripping it. That would be ideal if we didn't have to tear any there's of it. There's a lot of clip. I don't know if you noticed, there's a lot. Race car! 
This is what a race car looks like, bro. Well, Tim, uh, see, look at these. You don't need that. Who, what do you need that for? <sighs> yeah, this stuff's all gonna come out, dude. What the, what have we done? I love it, dude. Oh man, this is gonna be wild. I like it because it's very like clean. This looks freaking crazy. Now imagine this with a six-point cage, a bucket seat, our dash is all finished up. We've got we got freaking monitors places. We, oh my god, my vision right now. It's gonna be good, guys. Well, Tim, successful day on the GTR here. Look at this. The entire interior is out. Entire. Okay. I have to keep the hood up just because this is beautiful. This is my favorite part about the car. The engine bay is sick. Can't wait to hear this spoolie boy. Oh yeah. <laughs> this sounds so dope. Okay, check out the interior, guys. We have got everything completely out besides the dash. That is crazy. So we're gonna come in here one day, also clean up, get all the uh, get all the fuzzies out, stuff like that. Clean it up in here, make it look really nice. Then we're still gonna have to pull out the dash. Amir told us to wait until the wiring guy comes here. We'll have a meeting with the wiring guy and he'll tell us like what exactly he wants us to pull out and what wires he'll be tapping into. But overall, I mean, the entire interior of this car is out. This thing is now officially on its way to becoming a race car, full-time race car at least. It's gonna be dope, guys. So we're gonna load all this stuff up and head home. We are loaded up with everything and GTR is buttoned up. We're good to go. And the first startup of the car is gonna be so, so good. The amount of time and effort that we've put in on this car, that first start is going to be just unreal. Had to make a quick Best Buy stop to pick up something that we need for the stream. As you guys know, we were having trouble yesterday streaming Halo Infinite, so I decided to get a capture card to go internally on my PC so I can stream from my Xbox to my PC instead of all of my PCs. Hopefully that makes everything run better. So we're gonna head home, install this, and, and see if it works. All right, Tim bro, stick her in. Tim is my uh, PC wizard for today, so not, as I, not only is he Grandmaster Tim, he is PC wizard Tim. Oh God. Oh God. A capture card is inserted, Tim. We have good news because the capture card works. So internal capture card is installed. We have, we have my main monitor connected to my Xbox, which I'm gonna be setting up my inf my limited edition infinite Xbox. I just wanna make sure this actually works to my PC. And now we're good to go. We should have no issues streaming on the PC now, which I'm super stoked about. Just a plug. This is what I love about living so high up right next to the mountains. Look at this view right now. This is nuts. And I bet even on the coast, it's even better. Look at this, this is wild. Oh, it really doesn't even show through on the camera, but what a crazy view. That is absolutely insane. I wish the camera picked it up. Oh, there it is. That's nuts. Even when it's rainy in California, it still freaking blows my mind. Wow, let's go, let's go around over here. Wow. What a view. I still haven't got my voice fully back, as you guys can probably hear. Um, the more I talk, the worse it gets, but I feel, I feel okay. Just I don't have a voice. But yeah, we're gonna go play some fetch with Sparko. I'm just taking the view in right now because this is this is awesome. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna have our daily fetch with Sparko here, but we're also having a meeting You're with just quite the daily vlogger, aren't you? <laughs> with Jessica and our graphic designer for our upcoming drops for Legends. It's getting really exciting. Next year is gonna be a big year for us. So. We're getting some designs already in the works for January, February, March. So, we have a little phone meeting while we actually, uh, while we do our daily fetch with Sparko here. All 
right, so I showed you guys that we installed the all new NPC capture card here, which is really dope. We've done a little bit of streaming tonight and wanted to shout out the Twitch fam right here in the chat. Thank all you guys for, for coming out, watching the stream. Oh, just kidding, just followed. Hey, we got some vibe checks in the chat. DR said, what's up vlog? Nice. Hey, we got the Lugia emote too. This is awesome. Thank all of you guys so much for watching the streams. Like this is one of my favorite things to do and I love that you guys get to come watch the vlog and immediately come watch me on stream too. It's just so cool to connect on different levels too. Everybody in the chat's going crazy right now. You guys will be in tomorrow's vlog, so FYI. Okay, we're gonna wrap up streaming in just a bit and then I gotta edit this actual video. Once again, ending our night with the office. Sparkle and I are just vibing. Yeah, you guys are chilling. Look at our tree, by the way. Our tree is really coming together. So many presents. We did a good job this year. Heck yes, we did. Also, quick, quick fun fact here. Literally the best chocolate of all time. So I discovered this in Japan. This is Japanese chocolate, and you can only usually get it from Japan. Tiana actually ordered this online from Royce, the actual company. And I got some from a little Japanese market, but this is the best candy of all time. You keep it. It has to be kept cold or it's not good. It doesn't look very good, but is the well, best Well, it chocolate. got, hold on, hold on. It doesn't look that great because it got a little bit messed up in shipping. They also have to ship it cold yeah. because it has to stay cold. It's got to be cold. And then this one is the dark chocolate. Though, Just so. trust me. Yeah. We are going to end today's video here. We're going to finish this episode of The Office and I have to go upstairs and edit the daily vlog for you guys. It's been a busy day tomorrow again, too. Just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video. The 32 is coming along. Also, don't forget, the Ronin drop is now live. Last drop of the year. So make sure to head to the first link down in the description box below. It'll take you straight to the Legend site. And you can check everything out. If you haven't already, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Peace. Hang loose. <laughs> Surf's one time. <laughs>